What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today I have 10 med ball drills that all softball players should be doing. Make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. We have the lovely Sierra Romero de uh, demonstrating these med balls for us today. Thank you. All right, so first one, we're gonna go kneeling with the leg out facing the wall. So it's gonna be here, facing the wall. You're gonna kick stand with that other foot. So go ahead in that position. And now what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna snap down as hard as you can and you're gonna redirect that and throw it into the wall. So I like to say snap to the holster, redirect it, fire from that back hip. The back hip's gonna be the driver on this one. Let's go ahead and hit it. Good, chuck it. All right, number two, we're progressing off that one. Now we're gonna go side facing just like you would do you know, in your swing. So go back knee on it, kick stand with the leg. Now from here, instead of snapping the ball straight back, we're gonna counter rotate. So it'll look like a corkscrew from the top. They call that inward turn in the swing, right? That's exactly what we're gonna do here. That back hip is still gonna be the driver on this one. So snap back hard, rotate into it, good. Good. Coming in at number three is we're going kneeling, half kneeling, bladed. So the goal is to get up over and do a firm front side. So it's rotational. This front knee is blocking. So go ahead and hit it. Nice. Notice how she's popping up as she's rotating. That's just a cue of stiffening up that front side. Good. Nice, go ahead and hit one more of those. Good, all right, next one, we're starting in a lunge position or half kneeling position. You're gonna rock up, load into this back hip and drive into the wall. So here, load, snap it down. So the goal of this one is to load, keep that coil in the back side and not drift out of that, not lunge forward. You gotta stay over that back side, just like if you were swinging. Money. Good, one more. Nice one. Next one, working our way up to standing. We're gonna do the same thing as we were kneeling, right? Facing the wall. This foot's a kickstand. Now you're gonna snap down to that holster, redirect as hard as you can into the wall. Back hip's always gonna be the driver here. Good. Nice. Now progressing off that, same thing as kneeling, kickstand, now we're side facing, now we're inward turning into it. Nice. Good. This is a good hitter's warm up right here. Good. All right, coming at number seven, just progressing it, all right? We're progressing the elasticity of the exercise. So now, instead of snapping down with them, you're gonna get a partner. I'll be your partner. I'm gonna push you over, okay? And you're gonna, as I push you over, you're gonna snap down to that holster, turn and fire. So we're increasing the elastic profile of the exercise. Stretch shortening cycle. So you're gonna lean into me. I'm gonna push and rotate, good. Push, good. Nice, one more. Number eight, now we're going side facing, same thing. I'm gonna push over get out of the way, she's gonna snap to the holster, turn and fire. Good. One more. Good, next we're going from a seated position. So we're gonna do a single leg squat to a chair or a bench. From there, we're gonna shoot out laterally into a rotational med ball throw, okay? The goal is to stay low, so don't pop up off this seat. So go single leg squat, 
tap, shoot out. Nice. Leg squat, tap, shoot out. Good. Entire purpose of this drill, right, is to always keep that tension, keep that coil in that backside. One more. Coming in at number 10 is a box drop rotational med ball throw. So we're gonna go on a small ledge here. How you increase the intensity of this exercise, increase the elastic profile, you would just go up higher in box. All right, for video purposes, we're just gonna use this shorter box. Sierra's gonna go ahead and step off, land on her drive leg, keep that coil, rotate, throw the ball. Let's go ahead and hit a couple more. Snap down, sink. Down, sink. Hey, we got a bonus one for you. I miscounted, we have number 11 now. This is another one that I really like to do. I call it the Josh Donaldson drill. Just because you're doing a high leg kick, knee to elbow, forcing that separation into the wall. Part of the reason why Josh Donaldson, so little, so short, and can still blast balls 110 plus. Because he creates that separation. Separation is everything in the swing. So Sierra, you can go ahead and grab the ball. What you're gonna do is face just like you're swinging, right? You're gonna connect this knee to the elbow under the ball. Then you're gonna shoot back, creating that separation and throwing it in the wall. So basically it's a big leg kick. Good. Create that big separation. One more. Hey, that's a wrap. Those are the 11 med ball drills that I believe all softball players should be doing to increase those power output numbers. All right, and always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week, so do me a favor and subscribe. Appreciate you, catch you next week. Game rewards are grind, it knows how much you've invested.